Hey everyone, it's your girl Tara Michelle. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel, Opinionated Sense, our safe space to discuss all things fragrance, whether you like them or not. In today's video, we're going to be discussing seven of my favorite work appropriate fragrances for spring and for summer. So if you're interested to see what I chose, let's jump right into the video. To start this list off, we're going to be talking about a fragrance that was sent to me from the amazing house of Dossier. They are an inspiration house. I've talked about them so many times. I'm going to leave all of the info in the description box about them, a special link for you to click on what's new and happening over at Dossier, as well as my discount code. So I'm going to take the fragrance out of the packaging. I love this packaging if you're someone who loves commodity if you love byredo then you're going to love the packaging here the magnetic tops which you guys know i love so today we're going to be talking about floral sandalwood now this is inspired by maison francis kirk dijon's amorous extract the parfum so you guys know mfk is my favorite perfumer of all time i love him and i'm super super excited to get my hands on floral sandalwood had never even heard anything about this fragrance again i've never smelled the original but i like to try dossier fragrances as standalones as well not always as a comparison is it a fantastic fragrance that i would want to wear that's the question i don't care where the original dna concept came from guys this smells so niche this smells so expensive. I love the projection and the longevity on this. So floral sandalwood has top notes of pear, tangerine, flower, and violet, middle notes of amorous, orris, and jasmine, and base notes of vetiver, musks, amber, and sandalwood. This, this uh, tangerine leaf or tangerine flower, man, that is some loud. This is juicy almost like orange juice this is like so beautiful in this opening i love everything about this fragrance there is a tartness to this that if you are a fan of delina or um dng's lee and Petersrys, you're going to love this fragrance it again reminds me of corfu from um memo paris also gives me a little bit of um fico de amalfi from aqua de parma so not they're not dupes at all. It's just this sour note to it, this tart note to it. Um, and I have to use the word sour because it does come across sour and tart. You guys, I've talked about the difference between those two before, but it just speaks to me. And if you're the person who wants to step outside the box and almost guarantee that you will not be smelling like all of your coworkers, you want to set yourself apart. This is definitely going to be the fragrance for you. So again, that is floral sandalwood from the house of Dossier. First up, we're going to be talking about the most youthful and fun fragrance on this list. I love it because even though it touts a lot of different notes, what you're really going to pick up in this is the Bulgarian Rose and the pink bubblegum note. Now, this is that pink bubblegum that used to come in those sticks of five, like the Juicy Fruit, the Big Bread, the Winter Green, the Double Mint, like that. It used to be a pink one and sometimes it would be sugar free, but this is the pink bubblegum note that you get in this. This is Moschino's toy to pink bubblegum if you like a little bit of youthfulness in the bubblegum note paired with the bulgarian rose you're going to love this it is so much fun it is a huge compliment getter and it works wonders in the spring and summer heat next up on this list we're going to talk about a fragrance that i feel like doesn't get enough love on youtube there was a point when people were talking about it but i love her still this is from the house of Asca de la Renta, and this is Bella Blanca. What a beautiful floral fragrance. It's green, has notes of like green leaves. There's also like musk and uh, white iris in here. Um, there's tuberose, there's rose. It's just, and there's a beautiful pear note in this as well, and I believe some rose. So, I mean, there's a lot that's going on in here as far as the notes, but if you like a floral fragrance with a little bit of powderiness, a little bit of muskiness, and even comes across with that beautiful uh, fruity pear note mixed with all those florals, and it's not 
heady though. This isn't headache inducing for me anyway. This isn't old fashioned. This isn't a grandma rose. This is a beautiful green floral, slightly fruity, slightly musky, slightly powdery fragrance. So versatile. I just cannot see anyone at your job being off put by this. And the way that it works in the heat is just incredible to me. So again, that is Oscar de la Renta Bella Blanca. Next up, we're going to talk about a fragrance from the House of Tiffany, which you know means class and elegance and sophistication. This is Tiffany, just the regular one, not the intent, not the share, not the rose gold. This is just Tiffany from Tiffany & Co. If you want a beautiful, clean, crisp, floral, um, slightly musky, you know, slightly fruity, slightly citrus, like that burst of energy fragrance with a little bit of depth because of the patchouli, then this is good for you. This is such a well-rounded, versatile fragrance. You can dress it up. You can everyday it. You can do whatever you want with this Tiffany one, but it is perfect for work. You're going to smell amazing, not too floral, not too anything. Everything is the perfect blend of citrus, of fruits, and of floral. So again, if that's something that you're looking for, give Tiffany a try. Next up, we're going to talk about one of my favorite rose fragrances. There's some kinks in here, some jasmine in here. That's going to give you a little bit of fruit. There's some grapefruit as well. And there's this white musk. Gosh, y'all know how I feel about white musk. This is the beautiful Chance Eau Tundra from the house of Chanel. This is the Eau de Toilette formulation. I do also own the Eau de Parfum but I just fell in love with the EDT. It was what I had first. So it's the one I'm talking about. You cannot go wrong with this fragrance. There's no one who's going to be off put by this. Even the people who don't like it for themselves, I don't see them hating the fragrance. It's a beautiful fragrance. Every time I smell it, I get something different. Sometimes I get linen. Sometimes I get that beautiful rose. Sometimes I get a fresh like pair of jeans that was just starched to the heavens. It's just really, really good for wearing. Perfect for spring and summer. So if you're interested in rose, something that's done very in a very classy, sophisticated way, but still fun and a little, you know, a little flirty, then Chanel Chance Autandra Auto Toilette Formulation just might be for you. I've talked about this one a lot and I wore this one to my nephew's graduation recently and this top will not stay on here straight, so I'm just not going to worry about it. This is Miss Dior's Blooming Bouquet. I just can't say enough how much I really love this fragrance. It is terrible at performing, so you're going to get a really good solid two hours out of this. Be ready to top up. Um, as you know, guys, this was full like the last time I talked to you. Look at it. I'm putting a dent in it. Um, I had to top up twice at the graduation, and we were there for like two hours, two, three hours. So um, just because I wanted to smell it some more, it is just so light and quickly moves to the skin. If you're going to wear this to work, be prepared to have a bigger bottle and to go through it very quickly. But I had to pick it because it's what I'm wearing right now. Soon it will be gone and I will not be repurchasing it because of the lack of longevity and sillage. You know, I just... I need something that's going to stay with me longer than this one, but I cannot deny that it's a beautiful fragrance. For those of you who will buy the bigger bottle and do not mind topping up consistently, I wanted to go ahead and tell you about it because I still love it. The fragrance itself is absolutely beautiful to me. It's just, you know, it doesn't last. Last but not least from the beautiful, beautiful, amazing house of Toka, we have Simone. I've talked about Simone so many times to you guys. This is that beautiful watermelon note, that apple note, those woody notes. There's a lot going on in Simone, but she is stunning for spring and summer. She's just pretty. Like, again, nobody's going to be off put by this. Everybody's going to tell you you smell good. Every, well, you know, some people will look at you when they smell you and you know that they think you smell good and still not say nothing. Anyway, we're going to count that as a compliment. Simone is absolutely beautiful, perfect for spring and for summer. If you want something that is fruity without being too sickeningly sweet or too juvenile, this is your girl, Simone from Toka. Thanks so much for spending this time with me, you guys. Please don't forget to click the like button as well as subscribe to my channel. I love to have you here. Share me with your friends and family across all of your platforms. And do not forget to select that notification bell so that you never miss any of my future uploads. As always, I want to talk to you guys in the comments. What fragrances are you wearing for spring and summer to work? Or do you even choose your fragrances by location or season? 
Either way, let's talk about it all in the comments. And until then, bye.